Hi, this is Shivana Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakup, breakup dynamics, how to get your power back after she breaks up. And the topic for this video is the fact that your relationship ends doesn't mean that it failed. This is a very core mindset, some shift to make in, inside of you. A relationship has a certain life span. In the modern world, the life expectancy of a, of a marriage is about seven years. What this means is that 50% of couples will be divorced within seven years. So what this tells you about modern relationships and modern coupling is that the life span of a relationship is much shorter than what it used to be. Maybe 100 years ago, you would expect to marry somebody and stay with that person for the rest of your life you know, until one of the partners dies. It's, it's a lifelong relationship. And the reason why it was like that is also because the chances of survival, the, change, the chances of making it in society were much, much higher if you were committed to stay together. You would step out of a marriage and divorce, it would be really, really difficult to make it materially. So, and also within the cultural mindset, you know, the socially accepted behaviors, divorce was like something that might happen on the sidetrack. I don't know even the legalities, how it was set up at that time, but it was really rare. So today all this has evolved to a place where the lifespan of a relationship, even if you are married, is much, much shorter. And what this tells you about relationships is that we either, you know, run away from each other the moment there is dissonance or disturbance, we just like give up maybe faster. That's one option. And another option is that we complete much faster what we could discover or learn from each other. And so there is a part of us that needs to keep on evolving, that keeps on discovering everything that has to be discovered in this lifetime. And, uh, the idea of staying with just one partner for the whole life might almost feel like too constricting or too limiting. The idea of having multiple long-term partners might be more interesting to the spirit and to your evolution. So I don't want to, you know, to rigidify that idea or to create a doctrine around it. The only thing we can say right now is that Yes, relationships seem to be much shorter today than they used to be. That's the thing to understand. So the lifespan of a relationship tends to be shorter. And what this tells you is that the fact that the relationship ends, it doesn't mean that it failed. This is very important to understand so that you don't see your relationship, your past relationship as a mistake. You might have been really happy maybe for four years. Right. Four, five years, six years, seven years, 20 years maybe. And then suddenly you realize that there is a dissonance. Something is ending. Something is coming to an end. And so the connection with your lover or your partner suddenly starts dissolving. And then you move on to the next step. And so the relationship that you have been in might not have been perfect. Maybe there were some shadows there. Maybe there were some fights. Maybe sex life was not as good as you would like it to be. You might have had other challenges. But the fact that it comes to an end doesn't mean that you failed. Doesn't mean that the relationship fails. It simply means that you transition to another state of being. It's like you're living in a house for a certain period of time or in a certain city. The fact that you move to another city doesn't mean that it was a mistake to be in that city. So you can check in your past relationship in the one that is ending right now. There are probably tons of beautiful things that you experience with your lover, with your partner or your wife that are very precious. So it's not a failure. It's not a mistake. It's just the end of a cycle, the natural end of a cycle that calls for the beginning of a new cycle. You didn't fail. It was not a mistake. It's just the end of a natural lifespan.